Hola, soy Profe Crista. I'm going to give you a video tour just so you can get an idea of how easy it's going to be to navigate your Young Amigos Level 1A class that lasts 10 weeks. We are currently on the home page, which doesn't have a whole lot, and I'm just going to take you through week one basically. Uh, there is some course information which I suggest that you take the time to read um, if you've if you're watching this video it's because you've accessed the tour but there is some valuable startup information on this page the instructors virtual office I'm not going to go in there because it's going to launch and um, I don't want to take the time to do that but if you and I as um, your family and me as your instructor need to meet there's a whiteboard meeting space here where I can share my screen and um, I can use my microphone. If you have a microphone, we can chat with each other and um, talk through some of uh, whatever you would like to talk about. Ask the Class Forum is a good place for you to post a question or maybe just check in. Um, it's where people will ask questions, whether it's family members or students. And if you should see a question that you think you know the answer to, please feel free to jump in. But I do check this board. Uh, once a day, Monday through Friday, so you can be rest assured that I will be checking in and answering any unanswered questions very soon. So, we'll just go into week one and see how it's set up. All weeks are going to be set up pretty much the same. Um, you're always going to have el plan, the plan for the week. Tells you what we're going to do. Um, tells you what you're going to be able to do or should be able to do by the end of the week and how how um, you're going to be assessed to do that. Plan to spend two to three hours in the course this week. It might even be a little bit more being the first week, but the more time you spend, the better. And just know that families with non-readers or emerging readers, um, there's <clears throat> plenty of activities here for your um, children, and but sometimes it's just going to be necessary for you to assist um, with some reading of instructions and um, helping out in situations that um, they're being affected because they just can't read. So be aware of that. So I'm just going to show you through. I actually start lesson one or week one with story time. Every week we'll have a new story and I chose to um, present this story at the beginning as the introduction. So I'll just click on this for you to get a little glance at. <clears throat> Margaret and Margarita, or Margarita e Margaret. So just listen quietly. What a beautiful day to go to the park, Margaret. Que día más bonito para ir al parque, Margarita. Anyway, so that gives you a little bit of an idea on story time, and then there's some discussion questions that I've posted for your family. Then you go and just follow down the list. Here's another presentation. Las vocales, the vowels. Look, the key to learning to read in Spanish. Okay, I'm um, not going to necessarily go into every link here, but Online Resource Center is going to be an important one. This is an area of the course that you purchased access to, so you're going to want to make sure that you use it. And I have a screenshot here that you can look at, but I'm just actually going to go right to the site to show you. And um, so we'll go to Online Resources, and I will be giving you login credentials. So my family's login credentials are saved, so they're already here, and so here's all of chapter one. And so this week we're going to be in the pronunciation area, we're going to be working on vowels, consonants, the alphabet, some questions, and some answers. So that is um, where you will go next, and just kind of go through one by one, and there's um, links for you to listen to. Uh, sometimes there will be games, songs, there's a little song here, so I encourage um, everybody to sing along.
Then there are just more exercises. There's some games, activities um, for you to do to continue working through the week. Quizlet flashcards is something that I will always be bringing in and I will click so we can take a look. Um, there aren't very many for this first week. I suggest that you expand to full screen mode so you don't have all the extra stuff on the margins there, but um, there's this button here that you can click or unclick both sides. Um, I suggest that you don't have it click, don't have it clicked because then you've got English on one side and then if you click to flip Spanish on the other side and then here's an audio button. ¿Cuántos años tienes? Okay, so and then you can go to the next card. I am blank years old. Um, which is the flipped side. Okay. How do you spell your name? It's spelled. How do you say blank in Spanish? Oh, sorry, I need to be clicking to flip. ¿Cómo se dice blank en español? Okay, so clicking to flip is where you're going to go back and forth from English to Spanish. And you can also um, click to have the Spanish first. Se dice. For example, okay, so se dice and then you click to flip. You say. So that's how that works. But um, then what's fun is that you can go into these study and games activities that use the cards that have been created. And here you have all of the cards listed down below. So hopefully that will be a very valuable resource in your learning um, and hopefully create some fun as well. Okay, back into week one. We're getting close to the end. Here is a folder with alternatives for non-readers. So I suggest, though, that you do try to do as much with them as as you can. Um, obviously, it's going to be good for them to be, um, you know, just literacy-wise in English. It's good for them to be exposed to um, all of this stuff in English and Spanish. So then we go into voice thread and right now I've posted the question ¿Cómo se escribe tu nombre? which probably doesn't make sense to you yet but after you've been through the lesson th that should at least sound familiar and um, actually I've translated it here for you. So you'll need your computer microphone and then you just go right into the voice thread and you're gonna hear me asking and answering the question. ¿Cómo se escribe tu nombre? Se escribe K R I S T A. ¿Y tú cómo se escribe tu nombre? So, when you are ready then to post your response, which you need to do, because I'll be checking, is, um, well, let's see, I guess I needed to comment. I'll just add a, I will click the comment button, and that should walk you through the steps um, to leave your own thread, and then that will be listed along one of the margins. Okay, kind of a neat little program. And then there is a quiz. So these two are the assessment areas and um, you can take this quiz as many times as you want. Again, emerging readers are going to need some assistance from their parents um, as well as possibly um, strong readers might need assistance as well. So um, make sure it's assistance and not um, just complete control of uh, the, the quiz yourself. Um, because students need to be earning stamps on their passports and in order to do that they need to score 100% on their week one quiz. Now you have unlimited attempts so you can take it over and over and over again until you master it. You can go back and look at all your stuff again. You can email me a question uh, and if there's something you're not sure and I will help point you in the right direction. And then you'll just send me an email when you've aced this and when you've completed this. And so I'll check on this and check to make sure you scored 100 on that. And you will earn your passport stamp. So that is how each week is going to work. Pretty step-by-step uh, -step self-explanatory. But 
Do not hesitate to post any questions in the uh, Ask the Class, or if you want to email me, I uh, check my email several times a day as well. So, all right, looking forward to getting going with everybody. Hasta pronto.